Pranthism is the positional relationship of the mandible and or maxilla to the skeletal base where either of the jaws protrudes beyond a predetermined imaginary line in the coronal plane of the skull. In general dentistry, oral and maxillofacial surgery and orthodontics, this is assessed clinically or radiographically. The word pranthism derives from Greek pro and gnithos. One or more types of pranthism may result in the common condition of malocclusion, in which an individual's top teeth and lower teeth do not align properly. Presentation The vast majority of pranthism in humans is due to normal variation among phenotypes. In human populations where pranthism is not the norm, it may be a malformation, the result of injury, a disease state or a hereditary condition. Pranthism is considered a disorder only if it affects mastication, speech or social function as a byproduct of severely affected aesthetics of the face. Clinical determinants include soft tissue analysis where the clinician assesses nasolabial angle, the relationship of the soft tissue portion of the chin to the nose, and the relationship between the upper and lower lips. Also used as dental arch relationship assessment such as angles classification. Cephalometric analysis is the most accurate way of determining all types of pranthism, as it includes assessments of skeletal base, occlusal plane angulation, facial height, soft tissue assessment and anterior dental angulation. Various calculations and assessments of the information in a cephalometric radiograph allow the clinician to objectively determine dental and skeletal relationships and determine a treatment plan. Maxillary pranthism is a protrusion of the maxilla, and is also a common feature of many populations. It is not to be confused with microinthism, although combinations of both may be found. It affects the middle third of the face, causing it to jut out, thereby increasing the facial area. Mandibular pranthism is a protrusion of the mandible, affecting the lower third of the face. Alveolar pranthism is a protrusion of that portion of the maxilla where the teeth are located, in the dental lining of the upper jaw. Pranthism can also be used to describe ways that the maxillary and mandibular dental arches relate to one another, including malocclusion. When there is maxillary and or alveolar pranthism which causes an alignment of the maxillary incisors significantly anterior to the lower teeth, the condition is called an overjet. When the reverse is the case, and the lower jaw extends forward beyond the upper, the condition is referred to as retrognathia. Classification Alveolar pranthism Not all alveolar pranthism is anomalous, and significant differences can be observed among different ethnic groups. Harmful habits such as thumb sucking or tongue thrusting can result in or exaggerate an alveolar pranthism, causing teeth to misalign. Functional appliances can be used in growing children to help modify bad habits and neuromuscular function, with the aim of correcting this condition. Alveolar pranthism can also easily be corrected with fixed orthodontic therapy. However, relapse is quite common, unless the cause is removed or a long-term retention is used. Maxillary pranthism, in disease states, maxillary pranthism is associated with Cornelia de Lange syndrome. However, so-called false maxillary pranthism, or more accurately, retrointhism, where there is a lack of growth of the mandible, is by far a more common condition. Pranthism, if not extremely severe, can be treated in growing patients with orthodontic functional or orthopedic appliances. In adult patients this condition can be corrected by means of a combined surgical orthodontic treatment, where most of the time a mandibular advancement is performed. The same can be said for mandibular pranthism. Mandibular pranthism, pathologic mandibular pranthism is a potentially disfiguring genetic disorder where the lower jaw outgrows the upper, resulting in an extended chin. It is sometimes a result of acromegaly. This condition is colloquially known as Habsburg jaw, Habsburg lip or Austrian lip due to its prevalence in that bloodline. The trait is easily traceable in portraits of Habsburg family members. This has provided tools for people interested in studying genetics and pedigree analysis. Most instances are considered polygenetic. It is alleged to have been derived through a female from the princely Polish family of Piasts, its Masovian branch. The deformation of lips is clearly visible on tomb sculptures of Masovian Piasts in the St. John's Cathedral in Warsaw. However this may be, 
there exists evidence that the trait is long-standing. It is perhaps first observed in Maximilianite traits such as these that were common to royal families are believed to have been passed on and exaggerated over time through royal intermarriage which caused acute inbreeding. Due to the large amount of politically motivated intermarriage among Habsburgs, the dynasty was virtually unparalleled in the degree of its inbreeding. Charles II of Spain is said to have had the most pronounced case of the Habsburg jaw on record. His jaw was so deformed that he was unable to chew. Many dog breeds have underbite, particularly those with short faces, like shizus and boxers. This may be due, as in the case of bulldogs, to a slower growing maxilla in relation to the mandible. Treatment The most common treatment for mandibular pranthism is a combination of orthodontics and orthophnathic surgery. The orthodontics can involve braces, removal of teeth, or a mouthguard. History Pranthism is well recorded as a trait of several historical individuals. The most famous case is that of the House of Habsburg, among whom mandibular pranthism was a family trait. Indeed, the condition is frequently called Habsburg jaw as a result of his centuries-long association with a family. Among the Habsburgs, the most prominent case of mandibular pranthism is that of Charles II of Spain who had pranthism so pronounced he could neither speak clearly nor chew as a result of generations of politically motivated inbreeding. See also, craniofacial anthropometry, forensics, chin, references.